In this episode of Rob Christie Hack Across America, we continue with our mission to try to find something worth doing in every state. This week, we're in Arizona, and we'll be checking out the Grand Canyon North Rim. Now, Grand Canyon North Rim is located about an hour and a half north of Kanab, Utah, on the Byway 67, and about two and a half hours from Page, Arizona. It is $35, unless you have your American The Beautiful Pass. So we're at the North Rim, Grand Canyon, traveling trekkies behind me, wife Christy in front of me. A little confusing here trying to find the trail. And just to save anybody some trouble, the trailheads are located south of the parking lot. Go past the cabins, and the trails start behind the Rim Lodge. See the Grand Canyon through there, just a little glimpse. Okay, here's, here's some signs for trails right here. Oh, that's a good view. We're getting it is somewhat sunrise. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, you see the Now we did visit the North Rim in October and the lodge, cabins, and gift shop were all closed down for the season. But the park is still open. And we pretty much had the whole place all to ourselves. It's a lot different view from the other side, huh, James? We are all by ourselves. Yeah. Cabins are closed for the season. They are? Yeah. We got the Grand Canyon to ourselves. Got to do with the Bright Angel Trail, mile and a quarter round trip. <laughs> Now there is another Bright Angel Trail on the south rim of the Grand Canyon, but we didn't get to do that last time we were there. It was really crowded, and I believe you had to take a tram to get to the trailhead. It was definitely nice for a change not to have to wait in line or fight through the crowds just to get a picture. Is that just coming down to this? I think it goes up to a different view. That goes, this goes out to the point. This does? This one right here. This goes out onto the, oh, okay. the point. That goes back up to So it does seem like there is a wheelchair accessible point that connects to the trail right here. The way we came was all dirt and rocks. Mm. We got a cable car, I think. Looks like. Maybe. Mm. This next little section of the trail, you literally got 
cliff on both sides of you. There's a trail. There's a cliff. There's a cliff. Pretty, pretty cool. And I thought we had the place to ourselves. No. <laughs> so it turned out we weren't the only ones in the park. There was about four other people besides us there. And they were nice enough to snap a picture for us. Clip on one side. Walkway. Clip on the other side. Now, if you're scared of heights, this is definitely not the trail for you. Because you are literally walking on a three-foot path of drop-offs of the Grand Canyon on both sides of you. Now this was the end of the Bright Angel Trail, but if you climb up on top of that rock, there is a summit marker, which makes for a really cool picture. Not to mention, the view up there is amazing. Now in comparison to the South Rim, there is way less to do here. There's only one or two trails and only one pullover spot in this smaller section of the Grand Canyon. But overall, I like the North Rim better because it seemed like more of a personal, intimate experience, less people at the time. And you get a walk out on that precipice where you have the Grand Canyon on both edges of you. And that was pretty awesome. Also, we got to enjoy the natural beauty of the place without all the crowds at the South Rim. In the next episode of Rob Christie Hack Across America, we take a drive through the Vermilion Cliffs before going into Page, Arizona. Then we finish out the day in the Navajo National Monument. So if you found yourself liking this video and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe. Plenty on the channel, more on the way. Until next time, keep on hiking.